Hello everyone, in this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about the principle of hybridoma technology in details. Hybridoma technology is a well-established method that is used to produce monoclonal antibodies uh, specific to the antigen of interest. Okay, so the hybridoma technology was discovered in the year 1975 by two scientists, George Kohler and Cesar Milstein. So the antibody producing cells in our body are beta cells and specifically the plasma cells. But the problem with the beta cells is that uh, they are short-lived and they cannot grow indefinitely. Okay, Beta cells are short-lived and they cannot grow indefinitely. So therefore it is necessary to immortalize beta cells uh, to produce a specific antibody at a larger scale. So the myeloma cells, these are cancer cells, they can grow indefinitely. So then in hybridoma technology, what is done is that beta cells, which are antibody producing cells, uh, and they are short lived, they are fused with myeloma cells, which are cancer cell mm, to, to make the hybridoma cells, okay, or to make the hybrid cells, okay, to make the hybridoma cells or the hybrid cells. Hence, the name hybridoma technology comes um, from these hybrid cells because in this technology, we produce hybrid cells or hybridomas, a hybrid, hy hybridoma cell line or hybrid cells uh, that are generated by fusing beta cells with the myeloma cells. And these hybridoma cells or the hybrid cells are used uh, for the production of antibody. Okay, so like I explained here, hybridoma cell lines are formed via fusion between short-lived antibody producing B cells and immortal myeloma cells. Okay, so from that, the name of hybridoma technology comes. So now, talking about the different steps of monoclonal antibody producing uh, production using hybridoma technology. So the first step is that we immunize uh, mice or the rabbit with specific antigen. Okay, let's say that we want to produce antibody against spike protein, okay, against spike protein of a virus. Then what we do, we inject spike protein in mice. Okay, so immunization of mice with specific antigen occurs. And then after the injection or the immunization of mice with specific antigen, what we do, we isolate antibody producing beta cells from the mice. Antibody producing beta cells are isolated from the mice. And in the next step, what we do is that we fuse these beta cells that we have isolated from the mice uh, with myeloma cells. Myeloma cells are cancer cell line and they are HGPRT negative, okay? Hypoxanthin guanine phosphoryl transferase negative. So a fusion between beta cells and myeloma cells occurs in the presence of fusing agents such as polyethylene glycol. Then what we get we get fused beta cells and myeloma cells, and those that kind of cells are called hybrid cells or hybridomas, okay? So, but in this process, not all the cells are fused, not all the cells are fused to form hybridoma cells. Some cells will remain unfused, for example, unfused beta cells, okay? Unfused beta cells, unfused uh, myeloma cells also, and some cells will be fused, for example, fused beta cells, beta cells, or fused myeloma cells, myeloma cells. So then uh, we have to do the selection, okay? So there is need of selection. We only want to select the cells uh, that are hybridomas, that are fused beta cells and myeloma cells. For the selection, what we do, uh, we use the media called HAT media. So what we do, we actually use the media that is called HAT media. So HAT is hypoxanthin, aminoterin, and thymidine media. So in this media, actually, only the hybridoma cells survive, okay? Beta cells are short-lived, they die away. Myeloma cells, they are HGPRT negative. Uh, hypoxanthin guanine phosphoryl transfer is negative. Uh, therefore, they cannot survive in HAT media, okay? So only hybridoma cells that are fused beta cells and with 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 the myeloma cells, they can only they can survive in the hat media. After the selection in hat media, what we do is that we transfer hybridoma cells to the ELISA plate, where 
uh, each whale houses a single hybridoma cells. Um, and this is achieved by using lim uh, limiting dilution methods. And from here, actually, we only select uh, the hybridoma cells that are producing specific monoclonal antibodies. So now, after the selection in HAT media and also in ELISA screening, so we select hybridoma cells that are producing antibodies against a specific anti um, antigen or antigen of our interest. So then what is the next process? Next process is that we want to expand these uh, hybridoma cells, right? So there are two methods to expansion. One, we can do in vitro culture to expand these hybridoma cells. And finally, um, we, 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 we isolate uh, this um, monoclonal antibody from these hybridoma cells. Another method is that uh, we, uh, we uh, in vivo, actually, we inject these hybridoma cells in mice or or in, in, in mice or in, or in rabbit. And from there also, uh, we can expand these uh, antibody producing hybridoma cells. So finally, what we do, we isolate uh, these anti antibodies, antibody of our interest from these hybridoma cells.